Hello, my name is Javier Martin, and I will be speaking to you on behalf of Team Broccoli. Uh, before we start, we just want to let you know that we have been having some issues with our transition system. We have created a railway system that combines, uh, that basically transports the character from one level to the next. And unfortunately, as this animation um, starts and, and continues with the player on the platform, it slightly stretches the player. It's not noticeable, but by the time we get to the third and fourth level, he is slightly um, larger in size and has collider issues. We are working on this and we will have it fixed for future builds, but to avoid any issues with this build, we are going to transition using God Mode, but while still showing you what we've created. I will pass you on to Sergey now. Hello, my name is Sergey Misson and this is my level, the House of Simon. First we uh, approach the front door uh, and get the message that it's locked and we have to find a different way to enter the house. Uh, here we find this fuse, pick it up and plug it into this holder and see this door open. And we have access to the basement of our house. Uh, in this room we find the missing generator fuse. Uh, plug it into the generator and hear the color and sound pattern and basically have to repeat it pressing E. So the generator is on and we can proceed to the next level. Mm, this is the first floor and here we'll find the missing elevator button we'll have to get it to the second floor and plug it into the fuse so the generator the sorry the elevator can be started now we have to repeat this pattern so proceed to the basement level Here we have to repeat this combination by throwing walls into the pipes. That gives us access to our transition to the next level, and since we can't really use it now, I'll enter God mode and just show it to you. Here is Devon's level, so I'm passing it to him. Hello, everybody. My name is Devon Rhodes, and this is my level, the mansion. So you come right out here, and it looks like you need to find the crowbar and get inside the house. Let's check over here, and it looks like we have an item. Oh, there we go. That was the crowbar. And now with the crowbar, we're able to make our way into the house. Looks like we have to get to the medical ward and find three keys. Let's see what we have over here. The medical ward is through here, but it doesn't seem like the door is going to budge. Let's see if we can get in from above. Ah, looks like there's three keyholes over there. Let's see what we can find in the mansion that might be able to help us get through. 
we'll start up here first by entering the bedroom falling down through the hole in the ground and we're now in the kitchen you use these discs to shoot up inside these washing machines Oop, let me fix that one and we'll be able to collect the first of the keys. Now we're able to get out of the kitchen. Let's see if there's anything else to explore on this first floor. Uh, here we have a bathroom. Oh, it looks like we can use the crowbar to open up this chest. Collecting the second key. Back up on the third floor is where we will find the third and last key, which is this one right over here. And with all three keys, let's see if we can try out the puzzle. And there we go. So we'll have to put it in in that order. We can hit E to play the order again. Looks like we do... Green. red and blue ah and there the door opens up now I will take us back into God mode so that we can show this transition here we fly or we ride the rails over this kind of like a marshy swamp land with a transition between me and Christian's level right here we're coming to Christian's level so I will hand off over to him hello everyone my name is Christian Gutierrez and here's my level the insane asylum so the first thing that you have to do is come right here open the door to get inside the insane uh, asylum and you will find the first collectible that, that the player will have to collect if he wants and first he will have to crouch right here to get inside the lobby room and he will see the lobby office so as you can see we have three keypads and you need electricity to open this door so the first thing that you have to do is come right here behind this couch you will find a fuse that you can grab with the gravel and then place it in the fuse box so I'm just gonna pick it up again and then place it right here so as you can see I just power up all the whole building and I just have to find the three key cards for the keypad so the first one that is the yellow one it's located right here behind this couch that I will grab with the gravel and put it next to the keypads to solve this puzzle so I'm just gonna leave it this keycard right there and then you will find the red one right here so you have to again use the gravel put it here and the last one will be on top of the lobby office so the player will have to use the gravel to move this plank to get to the top so I'm just gonna leave it right there go upstairs and then walk right here and jump to get the last key card so I'm just gonna leave it right there and now we can press the bottom to see uh, how to solve the puzzle and you, I'm just gonna press E and then it says blue, yellow and red I'm just gonna use the blue key card and place it right here and you can see the sound that I did right and then if you don't remember the puzzle you can just come right here again and press E to see the combination and you see blue, 
yellow, red. So you take the second one, place it right here, and then the last one. Now we have access to the lobby office. So as you can see, there's a file with particle effects that you will have to collect and it says dormitories room 113. So the dormitories are located right here and now you can open this door and find the room that says 113. So as you can see here, here's the room, but the door is broken. So you have to find a way to get inside this room. So right next to this room, you can open this door, come right here, use the gravel to move the dresser, crouch right here, and then you have to find the hidden room in this room to get the Calvary key. So you just have to move this object with the gravel, crouch again, crouch again, and then you find the Calvary key. So you have to go all the way back to the lobby room, uh, to get access to the Calvary room. So I'm just gonna move this dresser and then open this door and go to the Calvary room. So I'm just gonna press E to open the door and then I have to find the directors. So the, direct the director's key is located right here in this room, right on this table, I'm just gonna take it. And then I have to go upstairs to open the director's office. So I'm just gonna open this door, go upstairs, and then open it. So here you will find my second puzzle mechanic. So as you can see, you have a saver right here that you have to open to get the basement key. And you will see that I have uh, three books. Right here is the first one, the red one, the blue one, and the yellow one. So you will have here a note that says yellow, I mean blue, I'm sorry, blue, red, and yellow. So you will have to grab this book with the gravel and put it outside. It's nice. You hear the sound. And then the red one, you hear the sound again. And for the final book, you will hear the sound and the explosion also. So here, now you see that we have the key for the basement. So you just want to get it. And then you can go to the basement to open the door to get the final collectible. So the basement is located right here. You can press E to open it. And then it says collect the girl's ring. So you will have to go over right here, see that sweet case, press E to open it, and then get the ring that is right there. You can just collect it. And then for the final objective, you have to escape from my basement. So you have to use the gravel to move this barrel. You can shoot it if you want. Come right here and press E to blow this wall. So the player can just jump through this wall and then I'm gonna use the god mode because uh, we have to fix the transitions. I'm just gonna show you the transition between my level and the last level. So I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna drop right here and here's where the next level starts hello again everybody this is Javier and this is the last level of our game uh, so basically the player starts in the metro station he will jump down and he will be told to establish power he will see a fuse on the floor and he will pick it up and just put it in the fuse box establishing power all these cubes underneath the train look um, very interesting but there will be a collider in the way not allowing you to actually proceed in that direction so you will be forced to use this crate to get onto the platform 
uh, you can gather the collectibles that are going to tell you which way to go. But immediately you're going to you're going to get another objective that says get inside the train and also get into the control room. This is the control room. You see an interesting lever over here and another button. So, as you can see the fuses on the on the wall and you know the fuse mechanic, you're going to go ahead and put these fuses in place to see what happens. So, you look around the level, find another fuse and take it into the control room. Once you have the other fuse in the control room, you have established power and if you press E, you see that on these two monitors there is an opening inside uh, to get inside the train. You cannot access the train from the doors because they do not have power. The train is without power at the moment. So you have to find the way to get inside the train. If you use these crates and you form a staircase of sorts, you uh, should be able to jump on top of the, on top, uh, of the train. So very carefully you place the other that, that was miraculous but we got it done so we get on top of the train and we get the collectibles and get inside then once on top of the train uh, once inside the train you do see that you get the suitcase the suitcase is the main objective but now you need to get outside of the train since you don't have power and you see the fuses automatically you start putting the fuses into the fuse boxes and once you have both fuses you should be able to open these doors you can see they do open and you can proceed onward so once you start exploring the area you will see another objective volume that pops up that says find a way to the second floor you see a button on the floor and you see a button system here so you automatically put it in and you see again this lighting sequence that has been established throughout our game so you saw green first and again as uh, Christian explained earlier you can press that button to remind you of the sequence but I did see green first so I will put that in place just in case I need a reminder next one is blue so we take the fuse over to blue there's blue and the last one over here next to the vending machine over here got the last one and now if you see this note here it reads um, that this platform has been giving the maintenance guy issues but he's always able to make it work if you put three crates on it so let's go ahead and do that here's one there's two and the last one over here, we can grab it from here. And if we can put it on the platform, we'll be good to go. Let's see. The elevator door does open, the platform does drop, and we get to get into the elevator. Once in the elevator, we can press E, the elevator door does close and we go up to the second floor once on the second floor we see a dangerous barrel and we see a stopper just like in uh, Christian's level so we go ahead and try that out Let, and it does explode the, the wall with a nice explosion sound and we see something shining and it and the player will be notified that it is a pentagraph that can be used on um, on the train so basically you grab it 
very carefully and you try to maneuver yourself through the debris and just drop it to the bottom level. You can use this debris to knock down the light fixtures. Practicing uh, your shooting here with the grabnel. And once you get both light fixtures down, you can actually get across to the other side and gather more collectibles. Here you will see a dead security guard and the dead security guard has dropped two keys, one of which is the exit key and the other one's the maintenance room key. The maintenance room key is right next to the elevator and you need to get in there because there will be something uh, for the train over there. So you crawl through here and you find another essential piece for the train which is the jack and you just grab it, crouch, move forward slowly going through the debris if you drop it you can turn around grabbing it with the grabnel and moving backward very carefully you move back and once you're in position you turn a little bit and just throw it downward and lastly you go over to the maintenance room since you now have a key it opens up and defines the wheel for the train. This wheel takes a little more practice with the grabnel, it's a little heavier and it plays tricks on you but once you get it into place you can actually proceed forward and again throw it down because you're gonna use it at the bottom floor. Once you have all three items the objective volume will be completed you can jump down and it will say um, put these three objects onto the train so you will look for the front wheel snap it into position you'll have also a cash collectible here that you can pick up once you are in this front position it should snap in there at the bottom then we can grab the jack, which is what's needed to lift up the train. Move backwards slowly to bring it with you. And once into position, we swing it this way. And snap it into place as well. And lastly, the pentagraph that supplies power to the train. You move it forward and upward and once into position we don't lose track of it let's see there it is and there's a ghost silhouette of it so you can actually just swing it up there and it snaps it into place once it has all three pieces it'll tell you to release the lever inside the control room and there's the lever let's go ahead and press E here let's see what happens it releases the lever, moves the train forward, and remember those little boxes you guys were so curious about? Well, they're back. And this is basically our last mechanic. We have a fuse, so he's obviously tempted to put the fuse into the fuse box. Let's go ahead and try that. Lights up the light, and he sees a button down there, so he's going to go down here, check out that button, see what it does. So we have blue, let's, let's see that again, shall we? Red, blue, green, yellow. So we get the red and we put it onto the red. We get the blue very carefully, moving backward and we put it onto the blue we get the green and we put it let's see if we're, we can be careful here and we put it onto the green on the other side of the platform let's see there we go and yellow And as soon as we snap it in, 
That door opens, and we proceed outward into the city. We have finished, and we are escaping. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.